why the Queen might never return to Buckingham Palace, the three reasons. The Queen has lived primarily at Buckingham Palace throughout her reign. But it appears the Queen has decided to never return to the London landmark permanently, for several reasons. The Queen spent the first UK coronavirus lockdown at Windsor Castle with her late husband, Prince Philip, and she has also spent the majority of her first year of widowhood at Windsor too. But according to the Sunday Times, the Queen has decided never to live at Buckingham Palace again. So here are the three reasons why the Queen may have decided to make Windsor her permanent home. Buckingham Palace Renovations Significant renovations are currently underway at Buckingham Palace, with the landmark buildings electrical cabling, plumbing and heating all requiring updating. The scale of the Buckingham Palace upgrade is immense, with some pound 369 million of funding from the sovereign grant allocated for the project. The renovations are expected to take several more years to complete, and the Queen may understandably not be keen on living on a building site for the foreseeable future. Happy Memories Before Prince Philip's death in April 2021, the Queen and Prince Philip were able to spend what would be the Duke's final year in each other's company at Windsor Castle. The royal couple were protected by a system dubbed HMS Bubble with a select team of staff assisting them during the height of the pandemic. According to Ian Lloyd, author of The Queen, 70 Chapters in the Life of Elizabeth II, Windsor Castle holds many happy memories for the Queen. Mr. Lloyd told Newsweek, Windsor is her favorite home so she is very happy there and it holds many happy memories for her. She had lockdown with Prince Philip there so I think it's appropriate that she would choose to be at Windsor more and more. Windsor is also close by to the royal residence of Bagshot Park, where the Queen's youngest son Prince Edward lives with his wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex and their children Lady Louise Windsor and James, Viscount Severn. The Queen is known to be incredibly close to the Wessex family, and they are thought to have been a great support to the monarch over the last few years. A Change of Scenery Buckingham Palace was first purchased by the royal family in the 18th century by King George III, as a London home for his wife Queen Charlotte. Since the reign of Queen Victoria, Buckingham Palace has been the administrative hub of the British monarchy where the sovereign carries out their day-to-day -day duties. But busy Buckingham Palace may no longer have the same appeal to the Queen who, now aged 95, could be looking for a cozier residence to settle down in during her later years. With Windsor Castle just a short drive away from London, the residence is situated so the Queen can visit Buckingham Palace if necessary. And as she has consistently proven throughout the pandemic, the Queen can complete most of her royal duties from Windsor too. Audiences with diplomats and ministers have been completed virtually in recent months without issue. And the Queen is also able to host guests at Windsor as exemplified by her audience with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on Monday.
Prince Edward lives with his wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex and their children Lady Louise Windsor and James, Viscount Severn. The Queen is known to be incredibly close to the Wessex family, and they are thought to have been a great support to the monarch over the last few years. A change of scenery. Buckingham Palace was first purchased by the royal family in the 18th century by King George III, as a London home for his wife Queen Charlotte. Since the reign of Queen Victoria, Buckingham Palace has been the administrative hub of the British monarchy where the sovereign carries out their day-to-day -day duties. But busy Buckingham Palace may no longer have the same appeal to the Queen who, now aged 95, could be looking for a cozier residence to settle down in during her later years. With Windsor Castle just a short drive away from London, the residence is situated so the Queen can visit Buckingham Palace if necessary. And as she has consistently proven throughout the pandemic, the Queen can complete most of her royal duties from Windsor too. Audiences with diplomats and ministers have been completed virtually in recent months without issue. And the Queen is also able to host guests at Windsor as exemplified by her audience with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on Monday.